Well, hello and welcome back. We have moved our way through our APIs, and one of the things I want to do is handle a couple of the, uh, sort of round out a couple of these, uh, particularly the delete uh, call. So we, prior to this, we had just something just kicked out a little, you know, result text. So what we're going to do is we actually want to go in, and when we get a delete request, then we want to actually delete that record. So if we go into our test, what we're going to end up doing is we're going to do almost the exact same thing. And so here, where it's doing a get, we're going to do a combo here. Because what we're going to do is we're going to do a post. And this is going to be payload where URL equals, uh, we're just going to call it my test url.com slash blah and that's going to be our payload we'll like pretty it up a little bit here oh like that cannot be an assignment type oh url equals that believe is how we want it to go. Uh, let's start with here. Let's actually go out here. And so if we run, uh, let's go ahead and add our little terminal. So if we go in here and we run our API call. So we're going to run this. So now we're running our API. And so we can come in and look here. Uh, this is on 4001. Let's see, this is the git. So let's say, do we have, uh, method not allowed. Uh, let's see, cause that is a, oops, it says purge. We don't want purge. We want git. Okay. So we get a status error. And if we look here, uh, so what we want is, oh, so this is going to be, so we're going to have to tweak stuff a little bit because this was base here. So we're going to do our base is actually, what did I call that? Localhost. And I'm going to do that. And so local host this, I can get anything, but if I post, let's go look at this. So if I'm going to post something, uh, URL, we're going to send that uh, 5001. So let's create a record. Okay, so we've got this record that it sent. And then what we want to do on a get is take that same one, which I think we can do here. Let's just leave that there. Uh, do I need, I probably don't need that. I can do it like this. So he's going to get back my ID. Okay, so I'm good here. So let's do a second one and let's do, um, bad URL. So it brings back, so that's going to be number seven. If we do number seven, there we go. So now what we want to do is we're going to do, it's very similar to the get, except for this one's going to be a delete. And so what we want to do here is and we're going to see what we're going to take from the delete so the delete where'd it go uh leads over here on our api and we're coming in and we're going to get our url and so what we can do is we're going to say here this is actually going to be uh where did it get url so navigate url url let's just do it's going to be a request arg here so instead of this being a query param um oh no that's right so it doesn't need to be a body. It's just going to be a query parameter. And we're going to do it here. We're going to delete. 
Now, if we do it right now, it's going to tell us that uh, there's an error because it's going to blow up. It doesn't like that because, oh, because I started to code this. So now we're going to go to shorty uh, delete. So instead of navigate, uh, instead of, is that what we wanted? That's new URL. So this is the one we want. So we'll do it sort of like this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do a delete. And we don't need to do that. Uh, we do want to get the index. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come up here. Where did we do that? Oh, so we're just going to do this basically the same. Because this one actually does a... Oh, let's just do this. Let's go in here and let's do a delete link. And we either get an error or we get a result. And this is going to be in uh, my DB, which is this guy. So here, instead of, is that where it's at? Uh, get next number, retrieve link, there we go. So this is going to be delete link. And we're going to come in, and this will be actually pretty straightforward because we're going to do, we're going to do a delete from links where code equals that. Uh, he's going to do an execute. He is going to need to do a um, self dot. Oh, he does. Uh, we probably do want to do a commit. And then let's just do uh, result equals record deleted. Uh, new ID, we don't need that. We don't need to return new ID because we're not using it at all. Cursor close. Uh, oh, yeah, I think we can do that. And we're going to return results. So let's see what happens. So if we do that, and then we go foreground and kill it. So now we're going to run it again. Okay. And actually, we'll just leave it there. We don't have to background it here. And so now what we're going to do is let's do... Yeah, let's just do that. We'll go right in and we're going to delete it. Let's see what happens. Gives us record deleted, success. So if we come back over to our, uh, wait, let's save this first. This is going to be a shorty delete. And put it in there. There we go. So we've got shorty delete. But if we go to shorty get, now it's not going to find it because we have deleted the record. So we have added the ability to do a delete now without doing a whole lot of extra work. And this again is where you go into where the API is. So one of the nice things about it is when you use the, uh, the request methods, you can basically have, like here, we have really just one endpoint. And from there, we're going to be able to post, so we can insert something. We're going to do a get, and we're going to do a delete. We don't really have, when you look at some of the others, we don't have some of these others that don't make as much sense. So now we've got a very simple way to come in and provide for a, a deletion of it. So that's a really, uh, I know it's a little bit of a quick and dirty one, but I did want to take a look at that, I'll show you how to implement a delete within Flask, and uh, we're going to come back and sort of wrap this thing up, start looking at how we can deploy this, um, some of the little tweaks and things like that we need to do part of the configuration because we're going to use this on a, uh, or actually deploy this to something that uses an Apache server. If you use something else, you know, as a front end, then it'll vary a little bit, but at least we'll give you those instructions. That being said, hope you go out there and have yourself a great day, and uh, we will talk to you next time. Well, hello, this is Rob with Developanor, also known as Building Better Developers. 
Wanted to announce that we have school.developpreneur.com. Feel free to check it out if you like any of this information, any of the content that we've sent and you would like to see more. You can come out, you can enroll for free. We have free courses. We've got places for you to get better at just learning a technology or how to's. You can work on your business skills. We can help you with becoming a better developer as in coding and things like that. A lot of the stuff you've seen on YouTube, we also have out at school.developpreneur. We just have it in a little more of a uh, educational format and a way for you to track your progress as you move forward becoming a better developer.